All right, so we're just going to do a quick video where we prove. So last time we talked about what a transitive set is. In this video, what we're just going to do is give a proof that the natural numbers or omega is a transitive set. So recall. Well, how did we define the natural numbers? We defined it as the minimal or the minimum inductive set. And recall that a set I is inductive. If what? Well, if the following two things were true. So we'd want um, the empty set to be in I, in our inductive set. And then this other condition, this is kind of the inductive part of this definition, is, well, if we had an element of I, if we add 1 to it, it's still going to be an I. And then, uh, I guess for us, what does it mean to add 1? It means that if we take our set X and we union itself, the set containing itself. So we take whatever x is and we then include that set. Um, this is also going to be an i. And then what was omega, so the natural numbers? This was, we denote this as omega, I mean, and, and intuitively it's 0, 1, 2, 3, and so on. Well, this thing is the smallest inductive set. Well, what does that mean? That means that it's a subset of every other inductive set. And so what's the what's the claim or what's the fact? We're going to prove that, well, um, omega is transitive. And what does this mean? This means that all of its elements, so what does this mean? This means that for every single natural number, for every element of omega, it's actually a subset of omega. Right, that's that's one of the equivalent definitions of what it means to be transitive. So how can we prove this? Well, we can do something like this. So let let's call B the set of all natural numbers for which this statement is true. For which n is actually a subset of omega. Well, what the claim is going to be is is let, let's let's show that this thing is actually inductive so claim claim is that b is inductive well by definition uh, i guess the first thing we need to check is that the empty set is in b but why is this true well the empty set's in b because well the empty set is in omega right? that's this first condition because omega is inductive. And, well, the empty set's a subset of everything. Okay, so that's not too bad. What about the next condition? Well, let's assume that we have some element of B. So assume that we have some element of B. Well, what do we need to show? Our goal is now to show that, um, our goal is to show that if we take n and union itself, what we also get is something that's inside of b. Now, what does this mean? Well, to be in b, well, we just need to show that it's a subset of of omega. So, I, I guess we also need to kind of observe that this thing is in omega in the first place. So, note. So because it's in B, note, well, n union the set containing n, this thing is in omega. Why? Well, because n is in B, and so that means that n is in omega by definition. But then omega is inductive, and so we can uh, kind of add 1 to n, and we'll also get something that's in omega. And so why, and the, why then is this thing... So further, uh, why is it true that this is the case? Well, it's because n is in b, right? Uh, since n is in b, uh, if we, we know that n is a subset of omega. So this is true. Why? Since 
Um, we know that n is a subset of omega because it's in B. And well, it's also an element of omega. Maybe I'll write it like this. Since because n is in B. And well, n, the set containing n is a subset of omega since, uh, well, n is in omega, right? Because it's in B, right? By definition, B is all the things in omega that satisfy some property. Okay, but this is the claim, and this is kind of the check of this. Well, what does this imply? At B is inductive. Well, omega is the minimal inductive set. So it must be that omega is a subset of B. So since is the smallest inductive set, well, it must be that omega is a subset of B. Right, but also just by definition, B is a subset of omega. And so what this implies is that omega is equal to B, um, but this implies that omega is actually transitive. So by de this implies that omega is transitive. Right, because, well, what we need to check is that every element of omega is a subset of omega. Well, every element omega is in B and therefore is a subset of omega.